Two views. Statewide broadcast by Governor Nissa Mazin Wolwike on 6 of July 2021. My dear people of Rivers State. In response to the security breaches and premeditated attacks and killing of security officers in some of our neighboring states by gunmen we imposed a nighttime curfew on our land borders with other states on the 28th of April 2021. 2. Following the premediated attack and killing of some security personnel in Abua and Iquair local government areas by gunmen, we were forced to impose a statewide curfew from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. 3. On the 11th of May 2021, the gunmen defied the existing curfew and carried out yet another murderous attack and killing of some security personnel in the state. This prompted the review of the statewide curfew from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. 4. Then, on 16 May 2021 the existing curfew timeframe was readjusted to 8.30 p.m. to 6 a.m. for Port Harcourt and obo slash local government areas only. 5. As we have reiterated severally, we understand the extremity of these measures, especially their negative impact on business, and the social economic well-being of the state and its residents. 6. However, in taking these measures, our primary concern and interest was and still remains the security of the state and no sacrifice or price can be said to too much to endure for the preservation of lives and property. 7. And as we have severally stated, the curfew is not going to last a day beyond necessary. Picture shows Rivers State Governor, Nissim White during statewide broadcast yesterday. Photo, Government House, Port Harcourt. 8. Consequently, Sequel to the measurable improvements in the security situation in the state as well as in our neighboring states, we have decided to lift the existing curfew on the entire state from tomorrow 7th of July 2021. 9. While we thank you for your understanding and cooperation during this trying period, we must all remain security conscious and report any suspicious situation to the security agencies for action. 10. On our part, we will not fail to deploy every resource at our disposal to ensure the safety of lives and property while advancing the well-being of all residents. 11. This is the very reason we are clearing the state of shanties that have become veritable sanctuaries for criminals and criminal activities across the state. Clearly, our actions in this direction are not directed or targeted at any particular person, identity or group. 12. Once again, thank you all for your support prayer and solidarity as we continue to work together to keep Rivers State safe and secure for all. 13. Thank you and may God bless Rivers State. Kindly support our vision of building a community of 1 million Penn soldiers whose successes will be judged based on positive development in the society. Photos, TB Joshua Goes Home July 8, 2021. I was a single father, why child care is so important and how it helps women underscore U.S. President Joe Biden July 8, 2021. I was a single father when I was first sworn into the Senate. I had two young boys, and we'd, two governors emerge in Borno State, APC Babagana Zulum 22 LGA Boko Haram Abakaka 5 of July 8, 2021. ISWAP has successfully conducted a gubernatorial election and sworn in Abakaka as governor of Borno State. Abakaka will, unknown gunman, wipe lifts two months old curfew in Rivers State July 7, 2021. Statewide broadcast by Governor Nissa Mazin will wipe on 6 of July 2021, my dear people of Rivers State. In response to, unknown gunman resume operation, kill city DG, police officer in Enugu July 7, 2021. For some weeks now, it looks calm in the southeastern part of Nigeria until this very evening unknown gunman resumed.